Sunday night at Ralph Engelstead Arena, North Dakota punched its ticket to its inaugural NCHC Frozen faceoff, beating Colorado College 4-3 to win the series two games to one. With Scott Koberanski, I'm Dan Hammer. This is your UNDSports.com post game wrap. Cobra, this series uh, went to the final minute. And it was uh, it was a good series. I mean, Colorado College, you've got to give them a lot of credit. They really played their hearts out. They played right to the very end, 4-3 game. They did everything they wanted to except tie that game at the very end. North Dakota got off to a very strong start in this hockey game on Sunday night. It's strongest first period as we take a look at highlights from the win. And UND just 341 into the hockey game gets on the board. Stefan Patton with a shot toward the net. Nick Matson bangs home the rebound. Yeah, nice, nice, real nice job by Nick Matson of jumping up into the play, not just being a, a, a bystander. He gets an empty netter, and again on a rebound. Good play by Steph Pat. Just three minutes later, though, CC evens the game. Alex Krushelnitsky with the goal. Krushelnitsky, the guy you want to have uh, the puck on your stick if you're Colorado College, makes no question. Nice job by Slavin. Slavin had a good game here tonight. And again, Krushelnitsky right over the shoulder of Goffer. But UND answered with two goals before the end of the first period. Defenseman Troy Stetcher, the freshman, scores his first goal since November 2nd. Yeah, nice job in front. We see Luke Johnson screen the goaltender. And again, Stetcher gets it through, finds uh, right off the post. Lineup changes tonight for North Dakota. Stephon Patton was moved back with Derek Rodwell and Connor Gorder. Boy, it sure worked. That line produced five points. Yeah, and a real, real, real nice goal here by Steph Patton. Doesn't handle the puck, gets it, gets it away quick, and then it finds the back of the net. In the second period, though, UND turns it over, and CC takes advantage. Michael Morin gets CC within 3 2. Nice goal by Morin there. Uh, Paul Ledoux tries to make a cross ice pass. And it ends up in the back of your net. And again, turnovers were big in this whole series, especially in your own end. Another lineup change for North Dakota Sunday night. Brendan O'Donnell moved up to the Rocco Grimaldi line. And Grimaldi feeds O'Donnell for the game-winning goal. Nice play. That's what O'Donnell's supposed to do. He put on that line to score goals, and he comes through in a big way. But uh, we went right down to the wire because Colorado College scored with a minute 29 remaining. Alex Ruse, the hero from Saturday night, got CC within 4-3. Yeah, nice high deflection. And again, uh, Slavin again. He was, uh, he's had a heck of a weekend. I've talked a lot about him, but North Dakota prevails 4-3, and they're moving on to the target center. Big win for North Dakota in the face-off circle tonight. They won 45 compared to 26 for Colorado College. Katie Hale caught up with North Dakota head coach Dave Haxtall. Uh, coach, CC fought till the very end, but a very good team effort by North Dakota tonight. It was. It was a great team effort from top to bottom against you know, a great opponent. I give CC a heck of a lot of credit. That, uh, that team played extremely hard. They sure did. Uh, I know you well, and your celebrations typically are quite short before you get back to work. Uh, Miami up next. I, I think that will probably shorten it a little bit more even for you. Uh, but, uh, you know, thoughts on the, the week ahead? Well, first of all, we're, uh, we're, just, we're thrilled to be going to the, uh, the inaugural tournament at the Target Center uh, and have a chance to play for all of our fans there. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a contest. Miami's playing extremely well. You know what, we're going to take a couple of hours here, enjoy this. The guys will have a day off tomorrow, uh, and we'll get our preparation work started tomorrow morning. All right, Coach, congrats. Thanks so much. Thank you. And it should be a great week ahead for North Dakota fans, who I know will pack the Target Center. Dan? Without a doubt, thank you very much, Cadis. And North Dakota bound for the inaugural Frozen Faceoff. It begins Friday at the Target Center in downtown Minneapolis. North Dakota, the number two seed, will play eighth-seeded Miami in the semifinals. The other semifinal matchup has fifth-seeded Western Michigan playing sixth-seeded Denver. For Cobra and Katie, I'm Dan. That's your UNDSports.com post-game wrap.